Moises Kaisedo to Arsenal deal closer than ever before. Hello everyone, thank you for being part of the Arsenal chapter with me, your host Abu Kals, and make it a point subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss out on whatever we've definitely got to bring to as long as it is posted and as long as it is Arsenal related right about here at the Arsenal chapter with me, your host Abu Kals, as we definitely talk spot right about here and we're definitely talking about a transfer that has been making rounds for some time in the summer transfer window Moises Kaiser was not as heavily linked to Arsenal as in the January transfer window we're talking about last year in the summer transfer window and this year in the general transfer window and right about now heading to the summer transfer window are we already there definitely I'm telling you things are going on quite well for the club Arsenal and for Moises Caicedo in the deal is this close. So let's talk about Moises Caicedo. Anyway, is he the football player that Arsenal definitely wants? Or is he the player that is going to make an impact on the club Arsenal? Anyway, Moises Caicedo, Moises Caicedo, who is a box to box midfielder, has been playing quite well at Brighton and Hove. And He's been linked to a big number of clubs and not only is it just a big number of clubs that want him, but also big clubs, you know, very, very big clubs definitely want a Moises Caicedo. So uh, with the fact that Arsenal has been uh, linked to midfielders, uh, sorry, linked to this midfielder, uh, Moises Caicedo, we also need to look which option is present for Arsenal who is the box-to-box -box midfielder that Arsenal has right about now. So, I will be remember that uh, Lokonga can operate as a number eight, but is also comfortable in defensive role and is a boxed box midfield and that's what Arsenal has right about now. So, looking, putting to comparison, uh, Albert Sambe Lokonga and... Moises Caicedo. I think Moises Caicedo is way too much, is way too good, much better than uh, Sambi Lokonga. And I would say Arsenal is doing the right thing to get Moises Caicedo. I mean, everything is in the pipeline. Arsenal is trying as much as they can. But do not forget that in the general transfer window, Arsenal also tried very much and they convinced. Uh, Moises Caicedo that him getting to Arsenal would be a great thing and he would have quite big time, quite great time at the club Arsenal. But the club didn't agree with that. Uh, Brighton and Hove as a club had sold quite a big number of football players. I mean, had sold Leandro Trossard, he sold, uh, sold Leandro Trossard, sold Mark Cucurella, even the manager went. Definitely, they were in a situation where they needed a few football players to stay at the club. For some reason, I, I, I was wondering why uh, Brighton and Hove has quite good football players. And uh, when Graham Potter left the club, very many people thought, oh, Brighton and Hove is going to have it is going to face a trough because the manager is definitely out but it didn't turn out to be that he still played quite well under a new manager and uh it looks like from my point of view it looks like they've got quite good scouts they've definitely got a uh, very wonderful scouts who definitely are doing a great job. They're definitely doing a very wonderful job. So I think Moises Caicedo is a very good one and he'll, uh, he will uh, bring quite a big impact on the club. I think he's going to bring a big impact to the club, Arsenal, if he is brought to Arsenal. Putting him to comparison with uh, Sambilo Konga. Albert Sambilo Konga is not as good as uh, this gentleman. So, in the general transfer window, 2023, Moises Caicedo was heavily linked to the club, Arsenal. And for some reason, we're still wondering, why didn't Chelsea get him? Hmm? Why didn't Chelsea get him? Because Chelsea wa had the money, but that explains everything. It, was, it wasn't about the money then. And uh, Moises Caicedo himself was not even willing to go to Chelsea. Moises Caicedo was willing to go to Arsenal. Even 
on his socials. He went ahead and put things on his socials and said that he is willing to leave. And he say, yeah, he actually uh, told of um, management at Brighton. He's like, I've been at Brighton for quite a good period of time. I've been at Brighton for a very long period of time. I've helped you. You've helped me. We've built each other. But I think every lining has a stop. Every lining has a beginning and has a point where it stops. And I think the point where I need to stop has come. The point where I need to stop with Brighton and Hove is right here because there is a big and massive opportunity from a top club that is topping the league at that point in time in the some in the general transfer window. Arsenal was at the top of the club, at, at the top of the table. And all this with the fact that Arsenal has a great history, always in top four, you know, always uh it's been always a big club anyway, but it's always in top four. And at this point in time where Moises Caicedo is heavily linked to Arsenal, where Mikel Ateta thinks that Caicedo, Moises Caicedo can bring, can uh, sort of bring an impact, can put an impact to the club, add something to the club. Moises Caicedo is definitely not allowed to move by Brighton and Hove. So I have to say that it wasn't the best of ideas for uh, the club to not to to uh, uh, to deny him the chance of moving to a club of his dreams because he it is said that he is an Arsenal supporter himself. He likes Arsenal as a club and things like that. I think they would have let him go and uh when Desabri was uh, was asked, uh, Roberto, I mean Roberto Desabri, sorry, uh, when Roberto Desabri, who is the manager of uh, Bratton and Hove, was asked about this gentleman, it will be it will be remembered that he said something that opened uh, that was an eye opener for most of us, and he said, "Well." Moses Kaisud is a very wonderful football player, possibly the best that we definitely have in Brighton and Hove. But uh, if a football player is n not for the club 100%, that means he would put in 100% in the game. And that's what Ro Roberto Di Zabi definitely wants from a football player. And that gave us a hint that... Moises Caicedo is up for sale in the summer transfer window. Despite the fact of paying a contract, he's definitely up for sale in the summer transfer window. His contract, he signed a contract recently, I think, but that can be overturned at any point in time. So now, Arsenal being the favorites in this one, with Chelsea also being linked Arsenal need to play their cards quite, quite well to make sure that Chelsea are not into this transfer. But the fact that Moises Caicedo is not interested in a move, himself is not interested in the move to Chelsea, that gives Arsenal a, an upper hand. It gives Arsenal a bigger hand, a, an upper hand in this one, because that definitely means that Arsenal can... Uh, Act fast and get this gentleman, if you can understand what I mean. Act fast, get this gentleman. So, uh, we're definitely going to be seeing uh, a lot happening in the summer transfer window uh, with uh, the likes of Moises Kaiser joining the club, Arsenal. Arsenal could be having one of the best seasons in very many years. Again, this coming season, it could be an Arsenal season, and if... Arsenal wants to keep the form that it has been on in the last season, then a few players definitely need to leave the club and a few players need to come. Direct shopping is what Arsenal definitely needs to do. And good shopping, they need to get very good football players. I mean, I don't know of any club that would reject an offer for, for a football player like Moises Caicedo. I don't know. If it's an offer, possibly a rejection will be because... 
a rejection will be because they can't afford him let's see his market value what is he what is his market value right about now moises kaisedo moises kaisedo mm, moises kaisedo's market value uh, we need to see if arsenal can we need to see if arsenal can afford moises kaisedo oh i don't believe my eyes uh, moises kaisedo's current transfer value is between 22.6 million euros and 37.6 million euros no way no way no chance no chance i don't believe this source not even once moises kaisedo is no way no way i need to get a better a better one our uh, most current 22 point ah uh, no way no chance um yeah at least i can see this one that that's getting to 55 point uh 55.00 mm, and this is an update that was updated uh last march the 16th 2023 moises kaisedo then was 55.0 million euros at least at least but still I think as it stands right about now, as you know that we are in the general in the summer transfer window heading there. Definitely right about now, his price is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be uh quite quite big every moment. Every other day is going to be increasing. 55 million euros. I, I mean for Moises Kaisedo ain't bad at all. It's not a bad uh it's not a bad uh, this is from transfer market uh website transfermarket.co.uk uh it's the under saying uh 55 point five, 55.0 million euros i mean it's going to be a good one it's going to be a brilliant one uh if that's his transfer value definitely and we can see the fact that his contract expires June the 30th of 2027. There is quite, he penned a contract recently that goes up to June the 30th, 2027 for Brighton and Hove. I think Brighton and Hove was trying to get, uh, uh, get him to stay maybe for a long time, but I don't think they have been quite capable of doing that because he definitely wants to go definitely he definitely wants to go his leg level is definitely faster anyway i think moises kaiser is going to if he joins us no i think uh uh sambi lokonga is definitely going to settle down for a bench of his lifetime i think because he's a way too good football player i can't even imagine him get him being a 55.0 million euros i don't think that is what he should be costing really and i think his price is going to be going up every other day and if us are interested in this then definitely if they don't want to spend quite a lot of money on him they should get this going in this transfer window you know uh and the beginning of the transfer because as the transfer goes on there will there's going to be a bidding there's going to be a bidding war it's going to be a big bidding war for this gentleman. So somebody's asking, is Kaiser a defensive midfielder? Uh, anyway, defensively, Kaiser ranks in the top 5% of uh, his position for tackles and interceptions per 90 minutes across Europe's top 5 leagues, while he is the third best midfielder in the air among his Premier League contemporaries uh, with an aerial duels success rate of 70 percent that definitely that's one of the reasons as to why I'm saying oh 55 million euros is definitely not enough not enough at all I must say and I think I definitely think um I think it's going to be uh quite good for the club Arsenal to get him as quick as possible so if they can definitely get him as quick as possible, that's going to be a brilliant one. Otherwise, please make it a point to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on anything that 
Uh, the Absolute Chapter has to bring to you with me, your host, Abu Kaus, as I'm more than ready to bring to you the latest right about here. And please subscribe. Thank you and goodbye for now.